Antwerpen. Het belooft een hele avontuurlijke dag te gaan worden. Maar we hebben de schatkamer al gevonden. It's, uh, it's an action adventure game in the vein of like Indiana Jones, where this big, uh, big action adventure hero that sort of explores ancient cultures and ruins and stuff, and uh, not only fights bad guys but does puzzles. And, uh, and we have a really deep and interesting story and really cool characters for people to get behind. So it's a, it's a edge of your seat movie that you can play, is what we like to say. Uh, we really, you know, we took what we learned in Uncharted 1 and Uncharted 2 and we really uh, expanded it. And so we made, uh, you know, we tried to make it so there was a lot more uh, even between combat and exploring and puzzles and stuff. So we really want you to constantly feel like you're getting something new in the game. Uh, we added a completely new um, melee mechanic, so brawling. You can actually like get in a big bar fight with people and stuff like that. That's all new. Uh, and then our technology, we, we added a ton of things to make the game look and feel even better. I think they're all serious in their own way. I think this one has a little more, the underlying, uh, yeah, the undercurrent of this game is more serious, I would say, because it is about you know, Drake and Sullivan and, and their relationship and how it changes and how you know, Sullivan is getting older and then that's, it's a more serious topic for sure. Uh, I mean, it's still a lighthearted game, you know, it's still fun and, and there's fun and jokes and stuff in it, but yeah, I think the, the undercurrent of it is definitely more serious than, than Uncharted 2. <laughs> The reason we don't do single player downloadable content is well first of all we tell like we tell the story that we want to tell right and so mm -hmm. adding something onto that usually is weird uh, so then you start looking at like oh well we could do like a, a side story right or something and then when you start doing that as a studio we're not very good at making things small and so we start do, we would start looking at that and it'd be like well we should just make the whole game right and so we feel like we'd, we'd rather make a full game for players that um, you know, that's, that's awesome and, and spend the time doing that rather than trying to do these little episodes. So we tend to try and make stuff in, in the multiplayer, but um, you know, the multiplayer this time is a bunch of co-op stuff and, you know, we haven't announced our DLC yet, but there's a bunch of really cool content for that that's coming in. In the next few weeks, we're going to talk about it and I think, I think players will be happy with what we're going to release. What the hell are Marlos making here? Ik heb hoogtevrees, hè? Moet je kijken. Oh, jammer dat jij niet gaat, Mark. Ja. Dat vind ik dan wel weer lastig. Ja.